no free indices this is about dummy index there and there an index which is appearing two time appearing two time is the dummy index and there is submission on that index simply definition of dummy index that index appearing two times is called dummy index in one term of the equation it is dummy index and and there is submission in that dummy index nothing else simple definition no free indices no what is a free index suppose we have 2a 2.1 this is system of equations and simply we have three equations we can write this x1 dash equals to this x2 dash equals to this and x3 dash equals to this simply a11 x1 plus a12 simply we have written a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 and x2 dash equals to a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 x3 dash equals to a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 Sorry for the break due to that lab battery of my laptop is draining out that is why I have taken a break of 2 minutes no free index as i was saying that we have this system of equation x1 dash equals to this, this x2 dash equals to this and x3 dash equal to equals to this no with the help of submission with the help of dummy index we will write this x1 dash in this form now you can see that here x1 dash equals to a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 now you can see that this one one and one this is fixed now this is one one Two two three three. Second index is varying. One one plus two two plus a three three plus three three. So it means that we can write this thing in this way that one is fixed, and we can write here x in sorry a one m x m. That if you will open this because this is no this is the dummy index m. No, you will open this. you will open the submission on this m you will have this thing a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 similarly this can be written in this way 2 is fixed 2 2 2 1 index of a is fixed 2 2 and mm similarly this can be written a3 m x n no this we have we have written this thing with the help of our summation convention which we have studied in previous section now further to write this these three equations in more compact compact form more compact form with the, with the help of another index by using another index you can write the more compact form more simplified form more shortened form of these three in this way yeah, this can be written xi dash equals to aim xm where i is 1 2 3 now if i is 1 you have this equation x1 dash equals to a1m x1 if i is 2 you have this i is 3 you have this no this type of index by no looking at this equation 2a 
now we are going to define free index so this type of index which is appearing only one time in each term of the equation if you have equation 2a 2.3 then it has two terms only x i dash left hand side and right hand side another term a i m x n no this is one term and this is another term you can take it on the left hand side and can write x i dash minus a i m x m equals to zero so you will have two terms now in first term i is appearing and also in second term i is appearing now this type of index which is appearing only one time in each term only one time in each term not two times one time in each term of the equation then that type of index is called dummy uh, sorry free index dummy index is appearing two times in one term and free index is appearing one time in each term of the equation in each term of the equation and there is no restriction for the dummy index to appear in each term of the equation restriction on the dummy index is only that it will appear two times in one term and restriction on the on that free index is that it will appear one time in each term of the equation dummy index can appear more than one term in more than one terms but it must appear appear two times in 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 the terms that what i have said i have said that if this equation 2a 2.3 will be like this that x i dash equals to a i m x m plus b i m y m then m will remain the dummy index because it the equation which i have said has three three terms x i dash one term a i m x m another term and b i m x m another term but m is dummy in the first do uh, because m is dummy do uh, with the uh, by looking at the sec by looking at the term a i m x m and also dummy by looking at the term b i m x m b i m y m x m whatever no it can also be like this x i dash equals to a i m x m plus b i n x n in the second term m is dummy and the third term n is dummy both are appearing two times in the term so it means that if dummy if a dummy index appears then it will appear at least in one term two times then we will say that that index is dummy and what about the free index it must appear in each term of the equation for one time and similarly as dummy index that you can have more than one dummy index in one equation similarly you can have more than one free index in one equation how if the if you have x i dash x i dash j equals to a i j m x m so you can see that i j is appearing in one term and also i j is appearing in second term in the equation if the equation like is that that x dash i j equals to a i j m x m so i j is appearing in all terms so there are two dummy index i and j uh, sorry free index i and j so keep in mind that you have submission on the dummy index but for free index you will give the value one by one that 
if you will give i is equal to 1 you will have this equation i is equal to you have another equation you and i is equal to 3 you will have another equation so by by giving the value of dummy index you will have different equations uh, sorry free index that when you will give the value of the free index equations equation will be changed that for i is equal to 1 you will have this equation for 2 you have this and you for 3 you have this this is what i have what i was saying the free index takes on the integral number 1 2 3 1 at a time Just to equation 2a.3 is short hand for, for these equations each having sum of three terms on the right hand side of this. So with the help of both type of indices we have a simple form of this equation this system 2a 2.1 as 2a 2.3 this is the simple form of this system that if you have this then you can write with the help of this these three equations this is the simple form shorthand form that that if you know the know the characteristics of dummy and free index then you can write your system in very short form and if this has 10 equations then you can also write that in this way in very shortly simply I will vary from 1 to 10 no further example some more example some more discussion on the free and dummy index no if it, this is if you have ei dash equals to q m i m then you can write when i is 1 you can write this then this, this is a similar, similar way as I, I have explained this example that you have this short form and from this this short form you have this type of system and keep in mind that what is written here xj dash equals to ajm xm and ej dash equals to umj m that this is the same equation as 2a2.2a2.3 2 2 apparently what is the difference between these two m is same m is same but here is i but here is j nothing will happen you will change the value of j from 1 to 3 here and here you will change the value of i from, from 1 to 3 and result will not be changed like this and you can change the index free index but you will have to change the free index in each term in each term of the equation but this restriction is not on the dummy index that if you have an equation equation which has three terms and in one term there is dummy index m and in the second term there is the dummy index n so it is m and it is n no need to write m and n same you can write differently but for the free index it should appear in each term And if you, you have this type of equation, ai is equal to bj. No, this equation is meaningless. Why? No, no, you have indices i and j. Two terms and one term is a, ai and second is bj and index is i and j. You, what you will see about the kind of these two indices i and j, whether they are dummy or, in the, or free now let's see first with the help of dummy dummy is that which appears two times but j is appearing one time and i is appearing one time in each term so it is not dummy neither i nor j now what it was free 
free is that that it should appear in each term if i is free then it, it must be here but it is not and if g is free then it must be here but it is not so it is so i and g are neither dummy nor free so this equation is meaningless so you you cannot have this type of equation it equation does not have any meaning so ai plus ki equals to ci no here i is dummy uh, sorry free so this is right the free index appearing in every term of an equation must be the same whatever i this is uh, this is what i was saying that free index appearing in every term of an equation must be same if your equation has 10 terms then free index must remain same in each term like this this is three terms and i is the mean appearing same in three terms here i and i and g is dummy sorry here i is free here i is free and g is dummy and there are two free indices appearing in in an equation such as this two free two free indices as i was saying to it i g equals to a i m a i m g a i m a g m m is dummy because of sum and i g is appearing in each term two 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 terms of this equation also appearing here i and j and also i g is appearing here so i i g are free in, uh, free indices and the equation is short hand writing now this is the short hand form of this equation these three equations Not three. There will be nine equations. I I J can be one one two two three three one two two one one three two one and two one one th two one one two. Write all these I uh, nine equations. Again, this type of thing does not have any meaning. T I J equals to T. I is dummy. Sorry, I is free. Here and here, but. you cannot see anything about j and k whether it is dummy or free so this type of thing does not have any meaning write these nine equations by opening by opening i and j summation n and also on uh, as so summation on m by opening the i and j as free and summation on m so listen this lecture carefully and we will discuss this thing in our online lecture thank you so much